What is up guys? We are here at Chevrolet.com. In this video, we are going to configure a Chevrolet Bolt EV. We are going here at electric and over here is the Chevrolet Bolt EV. It is starting at 36,620 US dollars. So you could choose from the 2018 or the 2019 model. But of course we are going for the 2019 model. And we're starting here with the overview. This is the car, it has this like uh, kind of hatchback city style car. It's not a classic uh, American sedan. It has 238 miles of range, which is pretty impressive, I would say, for that price. And you can have, you can choose from different color options, just to name a few over here. Uh, it was uh, a gray metallic, silver ice metallic, a blue, red, even a, gr a green or a shock. I think it should be like it's greenish or yellow. I don't know. It has a 10 inch uh, color touch screen. And yeah, just to let you know, we're going to build and price. So we are going to the configurator. There was just a quick overview. And if you already saw my other videos, from the first impression, I would say this is not one of the best configurators I've been to. For example, the Tesla configurator is pretty simple. Then there comes there I would say then there comes the BMW configurator, which is pretty clean too, and then the Audi. And now my fourth in my fourth video I do the Chevrolet Bolt EV, and I would say honestly I, I see, I'm seeing this configurator for the first time and it's like it's it's not that clean of the design. But well, we, we I give it a try. Over here you can take a look at the car, and down here we have the interior. I like Chevy's interior. I, really have to say it is um, I don't know I just like it <laughs> then there is the LT version or the premier version you can choose from this is the premier it gives us 17 inch wheels as well as the LT version you have roof rails and yeah, but I would say I would go for the LT version as it has HID headlamps. And yeah, then we are going to the next step. We can choose the color. It comes standard in a black. A Summit White, which is a non-cost option. A dark silver grill. Yeah, this looks. Yeah, it's all right. It does not look all that good, but it's all right. It's not bad. Then there comes the kinetic blue metallic version, the Kahun, Kajun, Kajun, red tint coat. This one looks good too, I have to say. From the back, it kind of looks like a van. Or the shock version. This uh, gives like a s more sporty appearance. But I, I would say I would give it this, uh, this black one a go because this looks kind of, kind of clean, gives it a good look. And yeah, then there is the packages, comfort and convenience package for five hundred fifty-five dollars. I think you could all read the the um, the informations of the packages. I will not read everything because then the video would be way too long. 
and uh, you can just pause the video and read everything you want. Down here we have some interior protection package, winter, summer floor mats package for 260 US dollars. Yeah, I think those are kind of heavy prices just for some mats, some floor mats. Driver confidence package. Yeah, I've added this package and now it uh, has added all the other packages, rear park assistance, rear cross uh, traffic alert, lane change alert, automatic heated steering wheel, ladder wrapped steering wheel, heated driver and front passenger seats. Yeah, it's it's alright. I would say we were still under 40,000 US dollars. I think this is this is not bad. Then we have the DC fast charging capability. Of course, we are going to need that. We're going for the information because I tell you why. Always allows you to charge your Bolt EV at publicly available DC fast charging stations. So it can fast charge. So the main hindrance of electric cars is, of course, the charging speed. Um, at a With a gas-powered car, you just go to your... Uh, local gas stations and you uh, fuel up your car it takes about you fill up the car it takes about i don't know if it's long i would say five minutes between three and five minutes so and with electric cars mostly you need like one hour and then it has like at most cars not even 80 percent so with the fast charging some cars uh, can even charge uh, themselves up to 80% in like 30 or 45 minutes. So, yeah, I would say um, this is a good option. But of course, the Bolt EV has a very a huge battery. So, of course, there's definitely a good option to choose. But no, I don't want to remove it. I want to have it. Wheel locks for $75. You can black out the Chevy symbol. Yeah, it's not not even bad, but I I I really like the gold Chevy symbol. As a kid, I always wanted to have a Chevrolet just because of that symbol. As uh, I'm living in Germany, there are not many Chevrolets driving around here. The only available model is the Chevrolet Corvette. Uh, oh no, it's not a Chevrolet; it's a Corvette Stingray. But it's the I don't know sister company of. Or it's the sporty uh, Chevrolet, it's called Corvette. Um, and the Camaro, the Chevrolet Camaro. And uh, this is a good looking car, but unfortunately it's not electric. So I cannot make a video about that. So we have to go with the Bolt EV. But it's a good start. I won't, don't want to talk bad about it. It's a very good and I think honest start with a huge battery. A decent price. So no, I cannot say anything about that. Dark silver grill. That was the option, but no, I would. We are not uh, taking that front front license plate bracket. What is that? Next step: interior. All weather floor mats. Universal tablet holder, one hundred fifteen dollar. No, this is this is not for me. That's what I like about American cars. You have you guys have so many options as standard. Of course, this the safety options we choose, but like here, uh, I don't know. And your cars are so cheap, and in Germany you have to pay for everything extra. Cargo security shade. Uh, 
Damn, Chevy has a huge option list. You're almost like uh, some German automakers where you have tons of <laughs> extras to add to your car. But yeah, who likes it uh, should go for it. It's no problem. The next, there is the summary. Um, we are here at... 39,790 US dollars net price. So, yeah, I would say I did not edit that ma that many options. Like, it was just like 3,000, but I think we are good to go. We have a 200 horsepower electric motor, which is kind of pretty impressive. We have a zero to 60 time of 6.5 seconds. And um, yeah, it's not bad for the first electric car. I'm wondering how much has the the battery versus the... It says it's, it's a capacity oh, over here. 60 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. Pretty impressive. Even the new BMW i3s, which I re reviewed the configurator in my in one of my latest videos, it just has a 42 kilowatt hour battery batteries, and it it's brand new. It's just got uh, the car just got the upgrade, and this car is out like for almost one or it's even two years. So yeah, it's a pretty good start. Pretty pretty nice. But yeah, this is it for the. Chevrolet Bolt EV 2019 model. I hope you like the car. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And I want to say thanks for watching, guys. Um, check out my other videos. I have videos of the Tesla Model 3 configurator, the Audi e-tron SUV, the BMW i3s, and I will continue to do more videos of configurations, of course, and more videos of uh, electric car documentaries, electric car presentations, uh, test drives, and just general information about electric car and about electric mobility in general and from my home country in uh, Germany and my home city, Munich. So, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Uh, it was, uh, it was uh, very nice that you watched my video of you. Thank you. And we're seeing us in the next video. Until then, have a great time, stay safe, and yeah, like I said, see you in the next video, bye-bye, and thanks for watching.